morning everyone uh, Tuesday currently 717 it's nice and fresh the temperature has cooled right off uh, what are we at this morning we are at 15 degrees We've had a bit of rain overnight supposed to get a little bit more today it's a bit gray and overcast but that's okay so uh, Jode is on holiday today Boo! you stink um, so we are not going to get a van visit but that said we are going to do a tour box catch up Fuck yeah! so we're going to do like a mini tour see what's changed on the box because somebody asked for it um, and it'd be a great time to do it. Yesterday, um, I had a job cancelled in the morning, which was kind of frustrating. Um, we waited, well, a girl phoned me midday asking, uh, telling me that uh, apparently he got COVID on Sunday and obviously couldn't come for his job on Monday, which, you know, I could have appreciated a phone call a bit sooner to let me know that, that would have been nice. Um, I had the girls with me yesterday because obviously it's summer holidays and grandma is still unfortunately in Bristol she's not been released yet um, which is a bit of a pain in the bum but obviously they can't have kids because she's you know got a broken legs so the girls are going to be with me over the summer holidays as, as much as I can do to ease the pressure from wifey because she's still got to work <clears throat> But we spent the morning basically tidying. We got a lot done, threw away a lot of stuff, cleaned up a lot of stuff. Faith was in charge of cleaning the toolbox, but she did one of them fairly well. But we will continue to do a bit more today. And then tomorrow, uh, sorry, uh, yesterday afternoon, I had a T6 in which I had to put a Pioneer Wi-Fi unit in the wireless car play and Android Auto, so that had that. Um, today I've got a car coming in for front and rear dash camera install, Thinkwares, and I've also got a reversing camera and stealth rear view mirror screen to put on. We were going to look at integration, but it can be done. There's not one made for this car. Um, I want to say it's called a, I think it's a Peugeot Rifter, something like that. It's got a really weird name. It's kind of like a kangoo, like a van, but with seats in it. So we got that to do today, so that should be a nice steady, you know, get the camera in, run the rear camera through together, and then down to the front, power up the screen. Shouldn't be too stressful. And then, yeah, just sort of do the, do the toolbox stuff this afternoon, catch up on the tools, see what we've got in the box. Obviously it's growing, obviously there's more stuff, as much as we can get. New stuff, that is. But other than that, that's about it. We're at 20, um, 2055, I think, on the subscribers, or 2051, sorry, on the subscribers. We've gone up some. It's been up and down and up and down and up and down, and then, yeah, we've kind of gone up a little bit, so that's climbed to touch. And we've had lots of comments in the section. Well done. Hope you enjoyed the weekend's video. I was knackered from doing all the editing and then getting up early and going out, but it was a really cool show. I managed to sunburn the absolute shit out of my head, which is just recovering the joys of having such a fantastic hairline. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by Keeps. <laughs> Too late for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to work, get some breakfast, have a coffee, speak to Harry next door, chill out, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Right guys, here we go. So I was right, it's a Peugeot Rifter. If you've never seen one of these before. It's kind of like a minivan kind of thing with seats in it. 
Um, we've got no interface available for this yet. It's got this kind of media screen. So we're going to do mirror, cam uh, mirror screen, uh, reverse camera on the tailgate, dash cam on the tailgate, obviously front camera up here and then wire it all in. Um, so we're going to crack on with this one first and then we'll move on to, as you can see, we've had a big tidy up. Honestly, I have. <laughs> um, we've got rid of a load of stuff and the toolbox one side, thanks to my eldest, has kind of been cleaned. We've got this side to kind of attend to and then we'll jump into a, a, uh, a, a, a tour. Um, as you can see from these, so and you know I said I lost one of these, so that was the one that kind of bounced down the road and it's chipped and scratched and it's it's salvageable, but I think the powder coat on these is just super super heavy. Um, so I managed to find some chrome ones online, which I kind of like a lot. It's just about this stupid retaining kind of feature that Bentleys have. So I've got to try and fathom some way of getting that to secure properly, but they look nice um, on the car. Anyway, on with this, then this. See you in a bit. Up, oh, got a little veto. This is a spotting job. Let me just turn this down. So, not booked in today, um, but it's a um, 2019 2020 Reg Vito. Now, already it had in here a JVC. Um, it was installed by another company in town that deals with uh, car electronics. That's all I'm going to say. Um, there's a couple of things I'm not really happy about is microphone placement. They've just drilled a hole and wang the USB straight through the side of the dash panel, which didn't really need to happen. Um, the surround is so-so, but the cabling at the back of this thing is a joke. Um, too many cable ties, everything's um stretched and it looks like a rat that's been hit with a shovel um and it's echoing really badly on the carplay and android auto for some reason so i had a try yesterday with my samson and it sounded clear james got back in it with his iphone and it sounded terrible so we've got a bit of an iphone issue when the engine's running and it transfers between being plugged in on carplay it's fine when it's bluetooth it sounds really really bad um so we're going to try with a pioneer a new lead redo the install my way so it's proper um and go from there microphone's going to be moved um there is a rain radar and whatnot behind this and that's where the microphone has been just sat onto so we're going to move all of that so it's out the way of this and coming that way around not straight across all that electronic stuff see if we can clear this up a little bit hopefully see you in a bit right then so this one has now had a proper Alex installation. We got a Pioneer in here with all the mod cons. God, listen to that. So CarPlay and Android Auto, steering controls work. I've moved the lead from hanging out the dash like a bad man to putting it in the glove box. Redid the aerial, I've redid the microphone. So no longer is it stuck to this thing it's up here where the customer can talk into it neatly out of the way and there's our reverse camera just there and we've got wiggly wiggly strange little lines on it as well look Whee. steering controls all work this one is done now I have still noticed a little bit of a weird echo on the uh, on the line, but I am putting that down to the iPhone, not the van. Um, it's now installed properly. It sounds better. It looks better. I'm happy with the install now. I can give this back to uh, James and no hand on heart. It's the best it's ever going to be, but it's definitely iPhone related. BS when it comes to sound quality unfortunately do you know what I really wanted one of these new ones when I was looking for mine and after seeing and driving these and listening to the thing clunk and clank I'm glad I didn't you know I'm happy with my one this one feels a bit tinny for my liking a bit plasticky looks good but yeah I'm a bit a bit concerned with the build of it to be honest I prefer mine to 
James gets this thing back, he's going to give that back to the customer, or not back to the customer, but back to the guys who fitted it. Um, yeah, my one's in, I think, looking a lot nicer. Happy days. Right, in a bit, everyone. This little Hyundai Antra. Just turn this down. So we've taken out that bad boy. Yeah. Uh, and it's had a JVC KD DB 912BT. Ta da! Microphone there. DAB aerial there. Yeah, so USB, Bluetooth, digital radio, CD, just what you wanted. Bit of levels. Let's just store that. Lovely, switch them off. Right then, dudes, end of day. Uh, Gosh, it's been a bit of a crazy one. Um, so, let's catch up with this. Um, not really a lot has changed on the top, other than the mess has appeared. Obviously, we've got the things like the new mats, which need to go on. Um, but yeah, ignore all this lot, because it's, it's a work in progress, and obviously I'm <laughs> doing stuff with it. So, let's, let's start the, start what have we got that's changed in here. So, um, Razor blades, pipe cutters, feeler gauges, hacksaw blades, windscreen wiper puller, mirror, knife, uh, hose clamp, dynamat tool, diamond tip picks, windscreen scraper, that shouldn't be in there, the new uh, pipe sheath remover, the snap-on crimping tool, yeah, two sets. Allen keys, Torx, star keys, all of the uh, all of the above. One Sealy, one Snap On. Power draw. We've added a few bits to this. We'll discuss that in a minute. Uh, big, uh, big half-inch pockets. The clothing drawer in the top. So 44 stuff, new stuff. We've got the new impact driver. That's a new a purchase. Um, the saw, the quarter drive ratchet, the half drive ratchet, the straight on drill, the right angle drill, the bit driver, the Apollo 100th anniversary, and my audio test equipment. Then in here, we've had a little bit of a change. Um, bit extensions, small screwdrivers, the flat uh, Phillips we got the other day, extra long Phillips. Phillips and flatheads, pick tools, small pick tools, short pick tools, long radiator tools, terminal tools. Um, I did see the other one, it was on the floor, we'll put, find that. Bit drivers, uh, long and short, um, really small Torx keys, um, the little snap-on pouch with everything in it, a ratchet and screwdriver, some flexible Allen keys, the blue point terminal tool, We've had a bit of a change around in here. So we've got um, open-ended crow's feet, normal crow's feet. Uh, what are we going to say then? 45 degree um, round uh, spanners. Um, the hex keys and a driver, half inch. Um, the extension 3 eighths, the ball end Allen key 3 eighths. The Torx Allen key 3 eighths and quarters. Socket spanners. Star key spanners, extension ring spanners, flank drives, um, imperials, star keys, um, the double ended ring uh, spanners, the crescent spanners, lock on extensions, half inch and quarter, sorry, three eighth and quarter. Um, we've got the um, snap on extension ratchet and short ratchet foam and ratchets the spark plug tools ratchet sockets and extension and the lockable quarter drive and three eighth kind of pack the foam pack in the middle let's go there the bit drawer so we've got relay switches all of the fun stuff soldering iron tapes pens sticky stuff fuses hid ballasts Vaseline, 
And then in here we've got files, big files, little files, cardboard box. Terminal, no we haven't. Trim tools, breakout kit, two off. Oh, and the VW uh, handle puller. The electric set with a working ratchet this time. Happy days, I've used that a few times already. In the bottom, we've got a um, slide hammer, my um, riv nut tool, and some extension legs for the box. Some small blue point pliers set, and the uh, door jam tool. In here we've got the pliers tray. Now these I've usually full up, um, but they're yeah, strewn all over the place because I've been merrily working. Um, in the bottom we've got a bit of a saw drawer with some odds and sods, some discs, uh, some uh, thread repair kits, um, the bits and bobs drawer, the wise grip drawer, my scanner, my multimeter, three torches, diesel tester, injector tester, my Bosch Zamo um, torch three, there's loads of them in here. Um, some testing equipment, uh, my power probe, um, various leads for connecting up the um, multimeter, crocodile ends, pointy ends, all of the fun stuff, and some resistors for the airbag tool, which is that one, that one there. Then we've got, ooh, this is a new one. Um, the, gosh, trying to remember all of this. That is, Great pipe um, end maker. We've got a, um, a not Jubilee, you know the one I mean. CV joint kind of clamp, some brake, copper brake pipe, some more terminal keys for all my connections, a pipe bender, and we have a big one over there as well. So we've got the little one and the big one. Fluid transfer, some Irwins, and a roll of foam tape. I was looking for that earlier. <coughs> This one we've got, again, odds and sods. So we've got a bleed out kit, jigsaw, dremel, sanding discs, hot glue gun, heat gun. Uh, yeah, all the, all the bits and bobs. In this one, the big one, we've got um, imperial sockets, normal flexi sockets. Obviously all the, the run of um, mini to maxi, quarter drive, half inch, three eighth, you know the business. We've got ratchets, we've got extensions, flexible extensions. We've got terminal, we've got right angle, we've got minis, we've got normal. A uh, handful of ratchets, a three eighth crow's foot adjustable, uh, quarter drive, flat sockets, extension sockets, <laughs> uh, oil filter wrenches, with the 10 mil wobbly set, Torx bits, uh, normal sockets on wobblies, uh, wheel nuts, uh, wheel nut removal tools, uh, female e keys, male spline drives, um, sump tools, short stubby Allen heads, swivel joints, torque wrenches, flat sockets, yes, all of that stuff. Screwdriver drawer, not much changed in here, blue point through and through tool. Um, ball end Allen keys, Phillips, Torx extensions, Torx normal, trim tools, T keys, uh, hexagon, Torx and Imperial. Spanner drawer, more ratchets. So we've got normal um, ratchet spanners, uh, the big set all the way up. And we've also now got the all the way down. So from Diddy to mini, to maxi. Um, we've got the extensions, flank drives, we've got the stubbies, we've got the intermediates, we've got the angled, we've got the crescent, uh, the thin spanners, the small ratchet spanners, the stubby, stubby ratchet spanners and the normal spanners. I'm trying to remember everything here guys, I'm hoping I'm not messing up too much. Circlet pliers, um, both kinds. Um, the purple, Mopar purple spanners, uh, Plier set, cutters, strippers, needle nose pliers, duck bills, and the mini set too. In here we've got the panel beating kit, some punches, flats, rounds. Um, we've got the impact tool for brake, brake calipers and drums. We've got the 
gasket scrapers, we've got the pry bars, odds and sods drawers. So we've got nil, nil um, pry bars, we've got brake uh, pipe stoppers, we've got brake cap end stoppers, we've got some adjustable wrenches or adjustable uh, mole grips, um, spring clamps, some wire brushes, the brake wind back kit, the brake wind back, uh, the brake hub cleaning kit both ends, both sides, the hub and the smaller bit, um, the pipe pliers, adjustables, and some bearing pullers. Uh, in there we've got a hacksaw, a bore tool, and some rather large rivets. In here, some terminal crimping tools, all of the different kinds, adjustable ends, twisty ends, um, the normal ratchets, and you know, Delphi connectors, all of the fun stuff, and another pouch there of them as well. In here we've got the hammer stuff, so big hammers, purple, the, the normal two, soft deb low, little deb low, and the pokey tool with the extra flexible pokey tool. Two sections of that, and a hub from a Lotus steering wheel. And in there we've got the oil service kit and some snap-on goodies. So in there is uh, the poker set, um, some other toys from snap-on. You've seen all of this stuff already, you know what's up here. All of the um, collectibles and freebies and fun things I've got. Uh, what else is new? The blower was new, the headphones are new, wing covers. Um, it's pretty much it. Cups and things like that. Oh, we had the Bluetooth, uh, the Bluepoint trays, they were new. My battery tester, my scope, some hats, and a welding mask. So there you go. The updated tour, I've, I've rattled through it, but I'm trying to keep everything quick and entertaining as possible. Obviously you can pause the video along there if you missed something. What was that? 11 minutes long, that's not bad. That was a fast toolbox tour. So I shall take a quick shot for the, um, oh, for the, the video. Let's redo spanners. Let's do spanners for the thumbnail. And then you can see where it came from. Oh, why is that? Look, it's flicked round onto me. That's not what we want. We want that. There we go. There's the video thumbnail. All right, that's it for today. Um, rather busy one. Didn't want it to be, but it is. Tomorrow we've got Nissan El Grand coming in for stereo stuff, which is over there. Fitting his own equipment. We're supplying the leads. And Sue, her dash cam, she canceled. So she's moved to another day. Um, I think she said her daughter kid or something had COVID and she's been asked to babysit. So she's out of action tomorrow. So we've got tomorrow afternoon off, which might be quite nice. I feel like a headless chicken at the minute. Right, cool. Um, end of day, I'm gonna shut up, get my ass home. Um, I've got to take some paperwork home and yes, I have not started accounts yet and I need to. So that's something I'm gonna to do tonight. So. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Comment as always. Say something in the videos. Something nice. Um, and you'll get a reply. If you're an arsehole, you know I'm just going to light you up, so don't do it. See you in the morning, boys.